Cody dieback or Phytophthora agathodicida is really serious. It's one of the most virulent plant pathogens I've ever worked with. It infects and kills the young, the very young saplings and seedlings, the juvenile or the rickers, and the very ancient giants like Agatha here. You know, they succumb very rapidly to this disease. The Cody ecosystem, it's not just the Cody tree itself, it's all the other plants and dependent flora and fauna in those forests that are also going to succumb to the disease. Well, the first thing we see is the um, lesions or the bleeding gum around the base of the tree, and that's the infection behind the bark that's rotting out the trunk. So the gum that Cody exude is in response to that infection. So you'll see this bleeding, this nasty bleeding at the base, but also when you look up, you start to see the uh, canopy die back. So the tree starts to lose its leaves, lose its branches, and it starts to look really ill. Cody dieback disease is a soil-borne microorganism and so one of the key ways it's getting into the forest, getting to new areas, exacerbating the infection is being spread along tracks and of course that tracks, visitor tracks are what people use and people with their dirty shoes, their dirty mountain bike tyres, they're moving the spores of Cody dieback disease. Our approach over the last 10 years really began as a biosecurity agency response which was trying to give the public messages around cleaning shoes and cleaning mountain bike tyres but as we learnt through the process we needed to bring communities and key forest users with us and work with people and actually help people help us. Working with Māori knowledge holders has been really important to learn and understand what the knowledge around Kauri and the Kauri Nahiri or the forest is. A lot of the traditional knowledge coming from Kaitiaki or guardians of the forest is around the whole whakapapa or history and heritage of a Nahiri or the forest and guiding us through what a place looks like, why it looks like that, what the trees have done and have said through a whole lot of what we'd call environmental indicators or tohu signs. And there's a lot of knowledge around rongoa or medicinal applications of some of our uh, flora and fauna that hold really healing powers. And so you'll see at the moment some of the Western science that's tackling Cody dieback disease is using some of those approaches and some of those rongoa plants or those taonga, treasured plants, and their natural ability to improve plant health. Citizen science is also playing a huge part in the Cody dieback research response and citizen science is actually co-developing and co-designing research with community and so that's part of using the knowledge in the community to work with research and actually design the research with us. The call out is this is us, ka tātou, know about what you're trying to protect and how to protect it. So I guess that's the big message that we're trying to appeal to our public but also our international visitors who are coming here to enjoy New Zealand's magical ecosystems as well.